Hello everyone, and welcome to this new episode of Power Scaling Analysis. The subject we analyze today is Ultra Sans, a character created by a huge pancake. The animation, released on November 18, 2015, is one of the most iconic animations of the Undertale fandom, which has brought many people closer to it. So how strong is Ultra? To be honest, Ultra doesn't have much going for it. The animation altogether takes less than 4 minutes, so there really is little material to analyze against. First, Ultra is an evolved form of Sans that appears after Sans is hit by the player. Sans then transforms into a strange size monstrosity similar to Omega Flowey and begins attacking the player, only to be destroyed by the annoying dog. Ultra is difficult to scale, due to the nature of the source animation. First of all, it has unknown statistics, but which we can say are superior to the original Sans. Ultra really doesn't have anything exciting to show for it in the abilities department. He has the classic powers of Sans, plus he can shoot beams from his mouth and hands. But the thing that sets Ultra apart are his haxes. During the animation, Ultra destroys various game elements. First the slash and the fight key, then continue with the mercy and item key. Towards the end of the animation, Ultra breaks the box, where it is usually the player's soul to grab it and deliver the final blow, only to be destroyed by the annoying dog. So how strong is Ultra? The truth is, not much. There is very little to analyze for physical statistics. One can safely assume that Ultra is building level, but there is no evidence that it scales higher. For the HAX instead, we can at least say that Ultra has a very good non-physical interaction, but nothing more. So to finish the video. No, Ultra is not that strong, it is not at all comparable to Seraphim as I have seen many say. Instead it belongs to the weaker Sans category. Thanks everyone for your attention.